As more and more people recover from COVID-19, doctors are starting to see the aftermath of the virus and how it's affecting people long term. And right now, all people want are some answers and some help. Doctors are seeing more and more patients experience a horrible side effect of COVID-19. It's called perosmia. It makes smells that were once normal and pleasant suddenly smell rotten and rancid. Doctors say it could be caused by nerve damage due to COVID-19. They tell Not On Your Side the condition is part of long-term effects they're starting to see as more people recover from the virus. But they don't yet know how to treat it or how long it could last. It's something local mom Danielle Mascunis's 11-year-old daughter is suffering with. Late January, she started telling me some, like she could smell a little bit, but things didn't smell like she thought they should. I tried to get her to explain, like, what does this smell like to you? And she, she basically was like saying like it just smells like rotten food. Dr. Gallagher is a medical director of infectious disease and infection prevention. He works at Vitamin Medical Center and at Lenore UNC's health system. He says this is something him and other colleagues are starting to see more of. About two thirds up to sometimes 80 plus percent of people will lose their, their smell or have some taste disturbance with the disease, but um, eventually goes away. But you know, as symptoms linger, um, we're learning more, and that'll probably be the next phase of research. For 11-year-old Lorelai, it's making day-to-day -day very difficult. She doesn't can't go to the grocery store with us anymore. She could smell a shallot in the refrigerator, in a bag, in a drawer, and as soon as she opened the refrigerator, she got sick. The effects of this condition are still widely unknown in how they will manifest in patients long term. Doctors tell not on your side with more recoveries will come more research and then hopefully more answers. I try to figure out how do you how do you deal with long COVID and and um, talk to numbers of colleagues with it and and, and I certainly don't have the million dollar answer, but that's certainly something we're seeing more and more commonly. For now, Dr. Gallagher says the best and only way of treatment is aggressive supportive care, meaning being as proactive with symptoms as you can, having a good relationship with your primary care doctors, and possibly physical therapy. In Greenville, I'm Emily Severidge, 9 on your side.